Hello and Salam friends. We make tutorial videos for Photoshop. Or tutorial for any other subject. And video has large size after rendering. Here is a video file with 105 megabytes. Let's see how we can make it small without losing quality. Open Google and search a software. Name of software is Handbrake. Handbrake software is open source video transcoder. Open the site and download. It is free to use. Download it and install on your system. I already installed it and this is its icon. Open it and we can drag and drop video file. Or we can open it. Here is video file I want to compress. Open it and it will appear in handbrake. First tab for summary, check web optimized. We will not change anything in dimensions. Leave as it is in filters. In video tab, a codec H.264, X264, is selected, and it is best codec to compress video. Constant quality is set to 22. Hover mouse on slider. You can read suggested values are 18 to 20 for standard definition sources, but 20 to 23 for high definition sources. I am going to select 22. Leave audio codec as it is because it is good codec. We don't have subtitles to burn on video. Now we will give destination path. I will add handbrake at the end of video title. And click on save. Now simply click on start encoding. There are some general presets available in software. We can use one of them. But I choose best setting to get best compressed quality. Remember to check web optimized. And with other setting I told before. It is giving me 8 minutes to render this video. We will see after 8 minutes. Handbrake software is free to use. Now, there is another software. Search VLC in Google. Open the site to download VLC Media Player. Download it and install on your system. It is installed in my system. Open VLC Media Player. Handbrake is compressing video. Now, we will compress same video file in VLC. Go to Media, Convert slash Save. A dialog box will pop up. Click on Add and choose same video file. Open it and click on Convert slash Save. There are many codecs in Profile menu. I am going to select, Video for YouTube HD. Browse for destination file. 
I will add VLC at the end of video title. Save it and click on start. Now VLC start compressing video file. And handbrake is compressing as well. We will see the results for both software. Original video file size is 105 megabytes. It is 80 megabytes after compressing with handbrake. But VLC increase size to 158 megabytes. Because we didn't apply any codec in VLC. Open VLC again and repeat same process. But we will choose same codec we use in handbrake. I mean H.264 video codec. Browse and I am going to add VLC with codec. At the end of video title. After saving we will start it. Now we will see the final result. Before VLC increase by size without codec. It is reverse compression. Now we are compressing with codec. Same codec we use in handbrake. So. VLC has finished with compression. First we will watch original video. Which has 105 megabytes size. This is converted with VLC without codec. It increased size to 158 megabytes. Handbrake compressed video file and reduce size to 80 megabytes. Let's watch quality of original video. And now we will watch quality of video, which compressed with handbrake. There is no difference in quality. Size reduced from 105 megabytes to 80 megabytes. This video we compressed with same codec in VLC. Let's check quality. There is not difference in quality. So, if we use VLC with same codec H.264, it compress video more than handbrake without losing quality. VLC with H.264 codec decreased size of video to 69 megabytes only. From 105 megabytes to 69 megabytes while handbrake decreased to 80 megabytes. In my opinion VLC is best to compress video files, but need to use same codec H.264. So, this is subject of today. It's your choice if you want to use handbrake or VLC. I want to show the difference between two of them. I hope you like this video. If so, then like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Till next, Allah Hafiz.